Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com. I'm here with the Olympus XZ1. This is the company's new high-end compact. Uh, basically, it's a $500 point-and-shoot camera that is uh, it's pretty awesome. I've been taking a look at it because, uh, as you might know, I use the Canon S95 a lot. And this is coming along as one of the top competitors to the S95. As well as a really strong competitor to the uh, some other cameras in the field like the, uh, I guess the Canon G12, the Panasonic LX5, the uh, Nikon P7000, stuff like that. Or the Samsung TL500, also called the EX1, other things like that. So, take a quick look at the camera. Uh, this is obviously a fixed lens. This is definitely a point and shoot. But it has a really big sensor in here. Has a three inch OLED display. Obviously it has a dial here has a, an adjustment barrel here, which is a, acts as a secondary dial. So this is definitely a, uh, a high-end camera. Full mag body, just like with the S95 and any of the pro cameras out there. F1.8 lens, and it's, uh, it's a variable lens, so uh, it's, I think it's an F1.8 to F2.5. But anyway, when, uh, without zooming, you do have F1.8, and it has 4X optical zoom. So that gives it an advantage over the Canon S95, which only has 3x optical. Obviously, you can see a uh, nice looking lens there. You know, that's not a great indicator, but it is a sweet lens, and it's a uh, 6 through 24 millimeter. Oh, here you go, f 1.8 through 1.5. Says it right there. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as size goes, that's going to be a big deal with this camera because. Uh, it's bordering on the size of a micro four thirds camera. It's a little, it's smaller than the, say the Pen EPL2 or, uh, or any of the cameras in that class. But it's not a whole lot smaller than the, say the Panasonic GF1, if you get the 20 millimeter pancake lens. I mean, obviously this lens has more range than a 20 millimeter pancake. And this is a cheaper camera. But uh, this is gonna be on the large side like it's a little bit too big to fit in someone's pants pocket. Obviously put the lens cap back on. The S95 you could slip easily into a pants pocket. The LX5 is pushing it and say the Canon G12 or the G11 or whatever, that you definitely can't fit into it. This, uh, I'm gonna say you cannot fit, it, fit into it, but it's obviously, it's, it's small enough that you could hang, uh, hold it all day. It's not that heavy, great on a wrist strap, also, it works, uh, as you can see, for a neck strap. So it kind of straddles the size between something like the S95 and other compacts and the, uh, the Micro Four Thirds cameras. But a lot of people are gonna say, if you're gonna get a camera this size, why don't you just go Micro Four Thirds? And uh, this starts at $500. You can get a deal on one of those uh, that'll get you a camera and the lens for, uh, you know, a new one for uh, 600, so something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, controls are really nice, pretty standard for Olympus. It's just like the Pen EPL2 controls. You have your mode dial here, zoom in, zoom out, trigger, power. You have uh, a hot shoe, which is uh, pretty cool, with the accessory port, which is uh, a good thing for those Olympus fans out there. Manual pop-up flash. Something to play with. Lens cap is obviously manual. It doesn't stay on very well, which is one of the most annoying issues with the camera. So there it is. There it is exposed. It's not a whole lot of uh, range in this, so it doesn't pop out a whole lot, which is nice to see. And then this spins, and that'll do uh, uh, act as a secondary dial or a primary dial, depending on what setting you have it in. Really nice. OLED display, like I said, it's three inches, makes the pictures look great. Uh, deceptively good, actually. Sometimes you think pictures come out a little bit, came out a little bit better than they actually did. Standard controls here, some grip, dedicated video button, which is nice. Let me shut this off. Nothing on this side, and then over here we have our, it's a metal door, which is cool. Then we have HDMI and uh, USB. So,
Uh, I think that about covers it for the Olympus XZ1. This is a uh, just as a quick verdict. You can check out a full review on geek.com, but this is a great camera. I'm having an awesome time playing with it. Uh, image quality is really solid. Video quality is nice too. Uh, the sensor on this is, is, they did a great job with it. So I'm really happy about that. And it's just a lot of fun to use. It's quiet, it's quick, and it's kind of everything I want to see in a high-end compact camera. It is on the large side though. So uh, while the S95 is something you always want to have with you and it's really small, you can fit into any jeans pocket. This is one step up. So I kind of prefer the size of the S95 and I'm willing to trade off a bit in image quality and controls, but I can see a lot of people out there uh, wanting to take the step up and go with the XC1. It, it is a step up in a number of ways, but to get that you're gonna have to pay $500 instead of the S95, which is still around 400. And the LX5 is still around 400 too. So it's something to keep in mind. Anyway, that about covers it. This is Sal from geek.com. Thanks for watching.